Calculate the force of attraction between a calcium and an oxygen ion, the centers of which are separated by a distance of 1.25 nanometers. So for this problem, we know that we're going to be finding the attractive force, or this is usually noted as F sub A. Now, what equation do we use for this? We can know that this is going to be an ionic bonding equation, which means that it has Coulombic force, which means we're going to use Coulomb's equation. So this equation, if we remember, is K, Q1, Q2 over R. And this is assuming that we have our two atoms here. We've got C A, O, and then we've got this distance of R, which is our interatomic separation. This is going to be given in nanometers in this case. We've got 1.25 nan nanometers, but we'll have to keep an eye on the units. We also know that K in our equation here, so if we write down what we know, we know that R is equal to 1.25 nanometers. And we're just going to go ahead now, actually, and we're going to convert that into meters, just so we have it all in base units. Um, and remember, the conversion for nanometers to meters is going to be to the negative ninth. So this is going to be 1.25 times 10 to the negative ninth meters. Again, we also know K, that's Coulomb's constant, and that's 8.99 times 10 to the ninth. And then units of this are newtons times meters squared over coulombs squared. Q, we also know, um, but we're kind of going to have to solve for that. So remember that the charge of each electron is going to be 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. And that's what we have in our units, so we know that we're going to have to solve for that to cancel those out. So what are we going to do to start? We need our Q values. So Q1 and Q2 are the charges of each of our atoms. And so if we rem remember when we solve for these, we're going to take the charge of an electron, and we're going to multiply that by the valence number. So let's say Q1 is going to be calcium, Q2 is going to be oxygen. So calcium, we're going to go ahead and take our 2. times the charge of an electron, and we're going to do the same for Q2. For these kinds of problems, we can go ahead and take the absolute value of the um, valence number as well as the charge, because technically they will cancel out in the end. And I'm not going to solve those separately, I'm just going to plug them all in for F. So now we have everything that we need to find the force of attraction. We can go ahead and plug everything in. So K, we've got 8.99 times 10 to the 9th. And then we can go ahead and add in our 2 times 1.602. And I'm just going to go ahead and square that because that is the same for both Q1 and Q2. And then that's over our r squared, which is 1.25 times 10 to the negative ninth squared. So we can go ahead and plug this into your calculator. I'll give you a few seconds to do that. All right. So for this, I got 5.9 times 10 to the negative 10. I'll write that in scientific, those of you. Now, what unit is this going to be in? We can probably make a guess based that it's a force unit, or it's probably going to be in newtons, but we always want to double check that. So we're going to go ahead and do our unit evaluation. We have our 8.99 times 10 to the 9th is in newton meter squared coulombs squared. And then that's multiplied by this slew of other values. So we're going to go ahead and take the top, which we have these two coulombs. So we have coulomb squared because the valence number is unitless. And then in the bottom, we have our meters distance squared. So we can go ahead and we'll cancel the coulombs 
meters. And just like we thought, that gives a toss in newtons. So that's our answer, 5.9 times 10 to the negative 9th newtons.